The Italians took good care of the safety of their model. Its body is galvanized. Of the shortcomings, only the cracking rubber coating of the outer door handles should be noted. To increase passive safety, reinforcement beams are installed in the doors, and even the basic versions are equipped with an airbag for the driver. By the way, the individuality of the design is also noticeable inside. For Brava and Magia, the instrument panel with semicircular scales is intended, but for Bravo, with round ones. Salons of all modifications are spacious, due to the fact that the wheelbase and width of the Italians is one of the largest among competitors, five people will comfortably fit inside. In addition, comfort for rear passengers is created by separate air ducts of the heating and ventilation system. Yes, and the luggage compartments Bravo slash Brava slash Maria are one of the most spacious. The standard equipment of the car includes power steering, central locking, immobilizer, radio additional brake light, steering column and driver's seat height adjustment. Engines. Cars are more common. Equipped with 1.4 liter petrol units, 1.6L and 1.8L and turbo diesel 1.9L. Their motor resource averages about 300,000 kilometers. Of the gasoline engines, the most acceptable in service are 1.6 and 1.8 liter engines. When buying a car from early years of production with a 1.6 liter gasoline engine, it should be noted that this unit was modified by Fiat in 1996. A limiter was installed on the oil pump drive gear to eliminate the vertical displacement of the timing belt, which previously led to its breakage. If the engines are unstable at idle, a failed temperature sensor may be to blame. Excessively noisy operation may indicate a failure of the hydraulic valve clearance compensators. But the most gentle is the fuel level sensor. If there is even a little water in gasoline, it starts to lie and then completely fails. Diesel units are quite reliable, although somewhat more expensive to maintain. Every 40 to 60,000 kilometers it is necessary to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. In winter, Starting the diesel engine is greatly facilitated by the factory fuel heater built into the fuel filter. Untimely replacement of the coolant often leads to failure of the thermostat. Sometimes the cause of the engine overheating can be a broken thermal switch of the electric fan. Transmission. Fiat has been cooperating with Volkswagen for a long time, thanks to which some Italian models are equipped with German gearboxes. In particular, Bravo slash Brava slash Maria are equipped with Volkswagen 4-speed automatic gearboxes, although we rarely see cars with this type of transmission. Most often come across cars with the 5-speed mechanics. In general, the gearbox is quite reliable, but for long-term operation, only semi-synthetic oil with a viscosity of 75W90 should be used. Mineral water can disable the gearbox. The clutch on average serves 80 to 100,000 kilometers too much force on the clutch pedal is a sign that the driven disc is on the way. Most modifications are equipped with a mechanical clutch, and only versions with an engine capacity of more than 2.0 liters are hydraulic. The most responsible approach should be to replace the clutch on a 2.4 liter turbo diesel version. Here, the design of this assembly is different in that the damper springs are mounted directly on the flywheel. Driving with a worn out disc can damage the springs and require an expensive flywheel to be replaced. Suspension. The McPherson type front suspensions of Bravo slash Brava and Magia differ in levers, anti-roll bar and shock absorbers, but the rear ones are the same. Hatchbacks have a sporty ride and are somewhat stiff, while sedan and station wagons are more comfortable, but come at the cost of higher parts costs. On Bravo slash Brava, the front suspension nurses about 40,000 kilometers and Magia has 60,000 kilometers. Its maintenance is expensive, since the ball joint and silent blocks in the original are only supplied complete with the lever. Non-original silent blocks can be purchased separately, but at the same time, as operating experience shows, the suspension will have to be repaired much more often. The stabilizer struts serve about 30,000 kilometers. The rear suspension is independent and lasts about 100,000 kilometers, after which, as a rule, it is necessary to change the bearings of the levers and the pillows of the rear subframe. Steering. The rack and pinion steering of all Italians is equipped with hydraulic booster. It is very powerful and makes it easy to turn the steering wheel even in place. However, this has a negative effect when driving at high speeds. Feedback on the steering wheel is practically not felt, so extreme caution is needed when maneuvering. When replacing tie rod ends, please note that they are different for Bravo slash Brava and Magia. Do not forget about changing the fluid in the power steering. Otherwise, the steering rack seals may leak. 
Basically, it is indestructible, although it can be repaired at domestic service stations. Brake System There are no problems with the brakes during operation. They are quite effective even in versions with rear drum brakes. The Bravo slash Brava slash Maria family does not have any major drawbacks. Therefore, those who need a stylish and relatively new car may well opt for these machines.